everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and we're finally got a beautiful day out here at the range. And I'm here to introduce something super freaking cool. We've had it in a couple of videos, but now we're here to talk about it and shoot it. It's the Desert Tech Micron Conversion Kit. What you see right here is what Desert Tech is saying is the world's shortest rifle. It's awesome. It's a bullpup design, 11 and a half inch barrel. And you know what? I can sit here and talk about it for a while, which we will, but I think what I really wanna do is go ahead and take the uh, 420 rounds that I've got loaded up right here and shoot this guy some and then shoot it some more and yeah, wind up shooting it some more. So uh, let's go ahead and start it off, how about it? the montage. Last mag through it for now. Oh boy, 400 some odd rounds. <laughs> I gotta tell y'all something. I know, I know, I know. Y'all just witnessed a lot of rounds going down range and I'm not gonna have a paycheck for the next year because of it, so you're welcome. But having shot now a few hundred rounds through the Micron conversion kit for the Desert Tech MDRX that we have here, is awesome. Now it is compatible for MDRs and MDRXs and pretty much all of the different platforms out there that are MDR and MDRX. So with that being said, you can have yourself a sweet SBR set up here. Now, let me go ahead and throw that out there. Yes, it is, it is an NFA item. It's not an NFA item to purchase, so have at it. But once you install it into your MDRX, you need to make sure that you do have the appropriate paperwork and filings and all that stuff because of the NFA and all that whack stuff. But uh, anyway, so yes, follow NFA guidelines, but again, you don't have to worry about ATF and all that stuff just to purchase the conversion kit, 11 and a half inch barrel, pretty sweet stuff. Desert Tech is claiming this to be the most compact, the shortest personal defense rifle in the world with an 11 and a half inch barrel and chambered in 5.56 or 2.23. And we've been shooting it here with a couple of different mags just to try it out and make sure that it is uh, functioning well because this is also our trial of it too and to make sure that this thing works. We've got now uh, approaching, if not already past 400 rounds through it now and it is cycling wonderful i did have one mag screw up on me uh but that was the magazine not the gun so happy about that and when i've got literally thousands of rounds through these magazines i'm surprised they've kept up as well as they have right now i'm running one of those transparent smoke lancers through it for the final couple of rounds because i think it just looks so sweet with this platform <laughs> now I will say something, it does get hot. Now it's not so hot that you're not gonna be able to grip the guy, I mean just put on some gloves and you know, don't be a wuss, uh, that's fine. But you'll notice like some of the metal components here, like the pins, they will get a little warm. So just pay attention to that if you're you know, shooting several hundred rounds consecutively. Also, uh, complete full disclosure, uh, Desert Tech sent this guy out to try and we have not lubed it up. We took it literally right out the box and took it to the range. I have not lubed this guy up, haven't done anything as far as maintenance goes with it. So how they sent it is how I've got it and uh, it's running. 
Now something else you might notice too on this guy here is the muzzle brake on the end. This is their Raiden brake and they're calling it pretty much their neutral brake because whew, the recoil is, is, is neutral. I mean, there's, let's just watch really close. Let's just slow it down here. I'm just gonna take one, two, three shots very slowly so you can actually see the recoil on this guy. This guy barely jumps and it feels amazing. So uh, yeah, they got it right with this guy for sure. Now you will notice too that you do have a uh, pretty short Picatinny rail right up top here, but you still have plenty of room and Picatinny option to mount optics if need be. If I were to throw a red dot on this guy, I think placement about right here would be perfect so that we still have a nice field of view, uh, but they sent it with the Magpul Inbus Pros and with the illuminated front uh, post, which I think is very nice, very fancy. Thank you guys, I like it. It feels great to shoot, I gotta tell you guys. Let's, uh, let's try weak handed with the ejection here. Let's see how this goes, just for fun. Feels good and it's not getting in the way. And yes, it's still an ambi design just like the MDRX. Just, you know, switch out the parts and components you need to and it'll have a left hand ejection. Pretty sweet, right? So yeah, overall, I am super happy with this guy so far. Oh, that was my last round. <laughs> and having now shot several hundred rounds through it, flawless execution through this guy. Feels great, complete ambi design as pretty much all of their bullpup firearms are. And since, I wanna say the late 20 teens, that's what Desert Tech has been doing. Uh, tomorrow's weapons is their motto, and they are really making some innovative firearms. But let's talk more about, uh, let's talk more about this guy, Desert Tech, back at the video room, compare it to some uh, other bullpups that may have been around for a while that are, I'm not gonna even say it's competitor, because the PS90, which is a very cool firearm, doesn't shoot 5.56 five, and is, uh, isn't as completely ambi as this guy is, so. Back here in the video room with the Desert Tech Micron, and I said I wanted to compare it to another very popular bullpup. How about the PS90? Now granted, the PS90 is not the short barreled version or the NFA item uh, like the P90 is with a, well, <laughs> P90 is also select fire and all that kind of fun stuff. But this guy does have a 16 inch barrel on it, not the 10.4 inch barrel that the P90 typically has. So if it were to have the 10.4 inch barrel, you'd notice that it would probably cut off right here with the muzzle device included, somewhere right in this area, all right? Anyway, I just wanna kinda show you guys a profile view or a as close to profile as I can get on camera here, uh, stock to stock, and yeah, you can see that the P90, if it were, uh, would be a little bit shorter than the Desert Tech Micron, but it's not chambered in like that, you know, full rifle cartridge like the 5.56 is. This is chambered in 5.7 by 28, and also the Micron has an 11 and a half inch barrel, so just over an inch longer. Uh, does, does that make much of a difference? You let me know down in the comments your thoughts on that, but in my book, I think it is awesome to have a rifle cartridge, 5.56 NATO in this case, in such a short platform. And I wanna to touch on a couple of different things here. Just kinda of go over the Micron uh, from <laughs> muzzle to stock here, or butt, however you guys like it, and uh, we'll just hop right into it. So yes, the Raiden muzzle device is phenomenal. I really like its recoil impulse and everything else. The, the feeling of shooting this gun, the short stroke system in it, phenomenal. Adjustable gas blocks, that way you can shoot uh, different loads, different muzzle devices, different silencers. You can do all of that with this very easy to adjust gas block right here. The barrel is also threaded half by 28, just like a lot of other guns, like your AR-15s mostly. So if you wanted to throw on a different muzzle device, you can, and maybe some QDs like the Surefire SOCOM, which I missed an opportunity there, but that's okay. Uh, moving back a little bit further, again, you do have a short sight radius on this guy with the Picatinny rail here, but it's actually, I think, a very good size for the gun. You've got just a very open area back here to get a great cheek weld, and if you wanted to throw on any type of magnified optic or anything, you've got plenty of space here to do it. So I'm super happy with the setup and design here. If you are running irons, like I said, Short sight radius, but not that big of a deal. This is definitely a CQB firearm, but if you wanted to engage a little bit more at distance, you have the capabilities, hands down, no doubt. All right, a complete ambidextrous firearm, which is awesome. All the way down to the safety lever, magazine release, easy, and even the charging handles. You see this little, these guys right here, right? 
and also the ejection pattern. If you wanted it to eject left-handed, right now it's set up for a right-handed shooter with the side ejection, cool. But you could just tip, like straight up, just remove this panel, replace the panel on this side, switch those, remove the bolt, rotate the bolt 180 degrees, and now you've got a left-hand ejected firearm. I think that's pretty awesome, all right? Uh, mag release. Again, right back here, but you've also got one just forward. So if you wanted to retain this mag a little bit easier, just press that guy. It's kind of like a secondary trigger. Now you can retain that mag, whatever you want to do. You know, it's just another option if you want it. Of course, it's just easy enough to hit the standard mag release right up front. Completely up to you. Uh, as far as locking the bolt, you can just twist it like you see right here. But also too, if the bolt is locked rearward, like on an empty mag, you've got the bolt release right here. You may have noticed in the shooting montage there just how easy it is to do reloads with this guy. One thing that's nice about a bull pup is you've got everything right here in front of your face. So it's easy to maintain your direction on target, rotating the gun, taking a look at everything that you need, get a great mag insertion, and now naturally your thumb is right here to send the bolt home. They did a good job with that. The ergonomics behind this firearm are spot on. And this is all still just the MDR and MDRX. The Micron is simply the conversion kit, the 11 and a half inch barrel, the grip that you see right here. So, and a couple of other accessories, whatever you need for whatever platform of the MDR, MDRX that you have will be available. So you'll be all taken care of, all right? But I just wanna make it known right now that to purchase the kit does not fall under NFA regulations. What falls under NFA regulations is installing it into your MDR or MDRX bullpup rifle. At that point in time, you have now made an NFA item and you gotta follow those guidelines because, well, gun laws, which suck. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. So like I said, you do not need a tax stamp or anything like that to purchase the conversion kit. In fact, you can go ahead and submit your serial number and everything else, your paperwork, purchase the conversion kit, and then once you get approval, throw it on there and you're ready to go. Same type of approval process of guys that like to take their AR pistols, CZ Scorpions, SBR them, and throw a stock and a vertical grip on it. Easy enough. Yeah, it takes time and it's kind of a pain, but hey, it is what it is. Freedom, right? But uh, anyway, great shooting gun. And let me show you guys too just the... Uh, trigger on this guy. Granted, it's, it's been shot quite a bit now. Uh, not just by me, I'm sure. I'm sure Desert Tech did quite a bit of testing with it and everything as well. But uh, let's just go ahead and first off, the trigger is super ergonomic and comfortable. So is the grip right back here. It doesn't have any type of tabs, little finger grooves or anything like that. It has decent stippling on it. Just a great texture all around. Feels good. Uh, the trigger, I do like that has a little bit more of a integrated curve with mostly a flat face on it. Feels very good. Let's just go ahead and check that out. All right. And yes, internet RSOs were clear. All right, so let's go ahead, applying a little bit of pressure. Boom, that feels good. Feels really good. And let's feel that reset. Nice short reset, nice and audible too. Heck yeah, it just wants to run, all right? Oh, great setup, and you can definitely count me in as a fan for this guy. All right, so Desert Tech Micron. Make sure you're headed on over to Classic Firearms and check it out. Check out all of our Desert Tech products, HTIs, hard target interdiction rifle, chambered in 50 BMG bullpup. Bull Oof, sweet stuff. We've given, one, given away one of those. We're probably doing one again. Speaking of giveaways, let's talk about our current giveaway. This is a classic firearm. Yes, pun intended. Everything there. This right here is the ZFK 55. What I'd pretty much like to say a sniper variant of the K31 and it's a beautiful rifle. It shoots great. It functions flawlessly. I love the straight pull action and everything about this guy. And if you want to see it in action and hear me talk about it some more, I can't imagine you want to hear me talk anymore, but if you want to see more of the rifle, make sure you check out our video announcing this as our current giveaway. Code word for this guy is ZFK, or code abbreviation, all right? So go check that out. And again, check out Desert Tech, the Micron, all of their products. You'll be happy with it. Made right here in the USA. <sighs> I don't want to send it back, Desert Tech, I'll be honest. I'm going to take it and run it some more. I'm going to leave it off there. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.